Part 2 Later I will teach a much more advantageous method of translating. It is a method that does not care how many inputs or outputs each function requires. But first, we need to learn some new functions. The increment function is symbolized by two plus signs. The increment of x is x plus 1. Therefore, the increment of 4 is 5, and the increment of 10 is 11. The decrement function is symbolized by two subtraction signs. The decrement of x is x minus 1. Therefore, the decrement of 4 is 3, the decrement of 10 is 9. The increment and decrement functions each have one input and one output. Here, I define a one input, two output function named n. The first output of n of a is a. The second output of n of a is a plus 1. Therefore, the first output of n of 7 is 7. The second output of n of 7 is 7 plus 1, which is 8. n of 9 is 9, 10. n of 3 is 3, 4. n of 31 is 31, 32. In the postfix example, the 5 is inputted into the n to give 5, 6. Here, I define a two input, two output function named p. The first output of p of a, b is a plus b. The second output is a minus b. Therefore, p of 7, 2 is 7 plus 2, 7 minus 2. 7 plus 2 is 9, 7 minus 2 is 5. In the postfix example, 7 and 3 are inputted into the function p to produce 10 and 4. Here, I define a two input, three output function named q. The first output of q of a, b is a plus b. The second output is a minus b. The third output is b minus a. Therefore, q of 7, 2 is 7 plus 2, 7 minus 2, 2 minus 7. 7 plus 2 is 9, 7 minus 2 is 5, 2 minus 7 is negative 5. In the postfix example, 5 and 6 are inputted into the function q to produce 11, negative 1, and 1. Here I define a kind of function by defining several functions. The letter F stands for flip. The flip of AB is BA. The flip of ABC is CBA. Likewise, the flip of 1248 is 8421. You can now understand that the flip of A is A. The flip of no elements is no elements, a zero input, zero output function. In the prefix example, the flip 3 function takes in 1, 2, and 4 to produce 4, 2, and 1. The flip 2 function takes in 10 and 1 to produce 1 and 10. Below shows that a flip 3 of a flip 3 of whatever is the whatever. This means that you can eliminate any two side-by-side -side identical flip functions. The equal function, as I define it, seems to be redundant, but it does have a purpose in translating. The equal 4 of 1, 2, 4, 8 is 1, 2, 4, 8. Simple, right? If there are two side-by-side -side equal functions, they can be eliminated. Why do we use the equal function? In prefix form, the equal function appears to have no purpose. But in this form, the equal function acts as a flip function, and the flip function acts as an equal function. The form on the right acts this way because the order of its output is opposite the order of its input. Use the equal function to perform a flip when translating into any of the green colored forms. All equal functions in any of the black forms can be eliminated without hesitation. All flip functions in any of the green forms can be eliminated. Translating equations containing multi-output functions by flipping the input. This process will allow us to translate as shown. Equal functions are used to flip when translating to where the golden arrows point. I will demonstrate this translation. 2n6p subtract multiply. Since we are translating into a form whose order of input is opposite its order of output, we must use equal functions to flip. For this translation, correspond each equal flip to the number of inputs of the function to its right. We have finished translating, however we can simplify this equation. All the flip zeros and flip ones are not necessary, so we can eliminate them. A function that is commutative is a function that returns the same result no matter the order of the input. Since multiplication and addition are commutative, we can eliminate the equal to in front of them. The equation is simplified. The transformation was a success. They both produced the same answer of 22. I spaced the lines for the calculations of A so I can show the corresponding B lines. 
To translate back to postfix, use the same method, except to use normal flips instead of equal flips. 2n6 equal to p equal to subtract multiply. Correspond each flip to the number of inputs of the function to its right. Eliminate the flip zeros and flip ones. Any equal function in a form where the order of input is the same as the order of output can be eliminated. Any identical flip functions found side by side can be eliminated. Any flip functions corresponding to a commutative function can be eliminated. Here is, again, the original equation. I will show the same method of translating, but for forms on this side. Multiply, subtract, q, increment, n3. Since the input is on the left side of the function and we want to flip the input, we must put the flipping functions on the right side of each function. Since we are translating to a form whose order of input is opposite the order of output, we must use equal functions to flip. To simplify, eliminate the equal ones and equal zeros. Multiplication is commutative, so eliminate the equal to on its right side. The translation was a success. Translating equations containing multi-output functions by flipping the output. These are the kinds of translations we will be able to do. These translations change the order of the output. I will use this translation for the next example. Notice that the difference of sums is 4. This means that after calculating the equation, we will have 4 numbers left over. Since we are translating into a form whose order of input is the same as its order of output, we must use flip functions to flip. Correspond each flip function with the number of outputs of the function to its right. The final flip must correspond to the difference of sums in the table. This final flip is placed on the far right since we are translating to a form whose function goes on the right. Now it is time to simplify. Eliminate the flip ones and flip zeros. Each of the final calculations leave four numbers. Notice that they are opposite each other. This is supposed to happen because the order of the output as defined by their forms are opposite each other. Add 5 decrement q8 3. Correspond each flip function to the number of outputs of each function to its left. Since we are converting a form that has the function appear before the input, the final flip will be placed on the left side. Eliminate the flip ones and flip zeros. The final calculations leave three numbers. All the kinds of multi-output translations that we have learned will be shown. Combining translations. We must combine three kinds of translations to get from postfix to prefix or back. There are six total combinations of ways to do this. Thank you for learning how to translate from one form to another.